scared. I don't want you to hurt me, please. No, no, we're, we're oh, no, 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 no. No, this is a, see, this is a show. This is, no, 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 it's a show. It's a show. It's a show. It's a comedy show. It's a comedy show. But this is not Hi, I'm Jared. And I'm Kristen. Since 2007, we've been pulling off some of the most popular prank calls online. And now, we're taking it a step further. We are leaving our studios and pulling off in-person pranks with hidden cameras. Our viewers, you guys, send us ideas. And we come out to you and help you pull off the perfect prank. Whether we're pranking your babysitter, your roommate, or your dance studio. We'll make sure it's hilarious using our years of prank experience and our crazy cast of characters. There are no producers, no writers, and absolutely no scripts. This is all done by us, and once in a while, a few friends. This is Friday Night Cranks Disconnected. So this week we're in Phoenix, Arizona. Yes, and we are not used to the awesomely weird dry weather. Yeah, no. It's really dry. Yeah. But that's okay. Um, it's our first time in Arizona, so it's fun. So we always had this idea of taking somebody's computer, buying the exact same kind of it, and replacing it when they weren't home, and then me coming in and destroying it. And we had a hard time finding somebody who actually had the guts to let us do that. Hey! What's up? What's up? How you doing? I'm good, how are you? Okay, so this week we need to go to Arizona. Okay, for what? To shoot a prank. Um, I sent you the video of Charlie, so we will watch it now. Okay. Hey Jared and Kristen, I'm Charlie, I'm 18 years old, and I am from Phoenix, Arizona. And I have been watching Friday Night Cranks for a little over five years now. Um, recently, me and my sister and my sister's best friend just moved into a house down here in Arizona, and I wanted you guys to come and prank her best friend, which is our roommate, Jasmine. Um, she's 20 years old, and she works like crazy, and she's really possessive over her things, so I think you guys can come up with some really good ideas to prank her. Um, also, she freaks out about everything, so I'm not sure how she's going to take it, but I think it's going to be really funny, and you guys are going to do a great job. So, I can't wait to see you guys, and I hope this goes great. Well, that seems awesome, dude. Yeah, so she sent me her roommate's laptop, like, pictures of it, so I'm going to try and find an exact replica online that we can use for the prank, which would be cool. Alright, awesome. Yeah, so I will see you in a few days, and we'll meet up in Charlotte, and we will go to Arizona. Hell yeah! Oh, okay, I will talk to you later. Alright, bye. bye! So a few days before we left for Arizona, I actually called Jasmine and um, pretended that I was HP technical support and tried to set up an appointment, but she really didn't want to set up an appointment, which I thought was great because now, instead of her expecting an appointment, she'll deny the appointment and then I show up anyway. Thankfully, her roommate did not have a MacBook. Computer. Yeah, because uh, she, she had some <laughs> HP laptop that was very easy to find online and decently cheap. Um, so I got that, ordered it, and we were good to go. We were good to go. So, mm -hmm. yeah. What's up, guys? Uh, it's like 4.50 in the morning, and I'm on my way to the airport. I feel like I survived the zombie apocalypse. There is not a single person here. You guys are going to come in as a repair for HP and smash a fake laptop that looks exactly like her laptop. So this is the laptop. Well, this is her laptop on the left. This is the laptop we purchased on the right. And they're pretty much the same. So that's, that's beautiful. Even the bottoms, hopefully. Yep. So as long as we don't confuse them, we should be good. I expect her to freak out and be very angry because she's not okay with things like that. Hoping this will pay off, we moved all the cameras from the kitchen in here. This is where it was originally going to take place and I decided last minute to move it out here. So there are four cameras and two microphones hidden in this room. So I'm hoping this will give us more space to work with. Charlie's sister and cousin were supposed to play look out. Charlie's sister Chelsea and her cousin Ashley um, call us. Chelsea goes, uh, Charlie, Jasmine isn't here. 
And when I tell you, this was like movie, like horror movie, like sitcom timing. Once she said, Jasmine isn't here, we were at the garage opening. And it was Jasmine. And that was horrible. Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna do like 10 more minutes to come pick me up. Yeah, I just need to change out this wire. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I'll talk to you soon. Hey, are you Mrs. Owens? Yeah. Hi, I didn't make HP tech support. I didn't make anything um, like this at all. I spoke to my boss, uh, Rob, and he said that he spoke to you last week. I told him I'd call him back and um, never gave you guys my address or set up no Because he, or but what I do is, um, my buddy, he, uh, we drive around and we have all these appointments and I just get paid upon completion of the appointments. And I was told that this is um, this model. We have to replace the red wire and make sure it doesn't overheat. No, and I never made an appointment with you guys. But did he um, did he actually it. explain all that to you? Well, he, I told him I call. I told him he could call back, and I never gave right. you guys our address or made right. an appointment or anything. Um, so. so what what usually happens with like that? I don't. This is the first time where I've actually have had a conversation like this where. Um, you, you said that you told him no, or you said you were going to call back, or like yeah, what? Yeah, I told I him I'd let him know, and he never called back. He never so. called back? And yeah, when, when was that? I our my address and everything. When was that? Like last week. Last week? Okay, because so I've, I've had this on my dispatch list for about two days. Okay, He well, put it on there. Yeah. And, all, and all this is, I mean, I, I, can, I can give him a call and see, see what was down with that, but there's no, it's no charge or anything, and this would actually, it extends your warranty on your laptop. And we don't even touch the hard drive portion of it. It's just a wire that comes in under here. No, that's um, fine, but that's just creepy. Like, how do you guys get my address? Right, and it's and I I can, you know, talk to him and see where that came from. I'm not okay. sure if when he talked to you, if he got any information, or he if didn't get any information. Um, if when the computer was registered, or even sometimes well, it's through the Wi-Fi, it sends information no, back. It would be totally through a different. Right, and I, I mean, and, uh, and I I understand that, but this it's this this is just my job to fix, and I'm just going to do. Um, as best as I can. There's no tip. There's you don't need to, even need to worry about me. Um, well, I mean the laptop's fine, so I'd rather you didn't right. mess with it. Right. I mean it's just, it's just it's not because what we've seen happen with these models is that everything is fine and then the red wire shorts out, and then we've had like a bunch of people call. They don't even sell this model anymore, HP. So what I would hate to happen is for me to leave and then two months down the road it shorts out. And then you call and they say, well, you denied tech support, and even tech support was at your house, and you said no. And that, that would suck. Well, I'd rather you guys didn't mess with it, because right. I just think it's really sketchy. Right. And, and I totally understand, but I'm just, so I was just told to, like, come here. Leave. But it's just, it just makes me, I mean, like I said, I talk to my boss, and... Well, that's fine. I mean, if something sure. happens, the laptop's in on me, but I'd rather... Keep right, it. but I mean, like, because then you, you have to get a whole new one, right? That's fine. I and it's just, it. I mean, it's just, it's just under here, like, you just start taking these things out. Well, that's fine. I mean, I just, I'd rather you didn't mess with it, so. Right. It, and if it just, but it, you it can just, just leave this. I'm serious. Exists, so, but I just want, sorry. I just want to fix this laptop. I, just, yeah. I would hate it. You seem very nice, and I'm, I would just hate for this to break up. <laughs> can you just leave my laptop alone and leave? I'd rather just fix it. I'm so serious. Give me my I, laptop. I'd rather, I'd rather or I, I honestly it. will call the police right now. Here, I'll call. So. I'll call, Josh. I'll call right now. No problem. Josh, I'll call. I'm calling them right now. I'm already on the phone. So you seriously need to leave my house right now? Do you now. want me to put everything There's back? There's a problem. No. Do you want me to put everything back? Go. Just leave. Random guy Honestly, here. just leave my house. But I just don't touch the laptop. Just get up and leave. Do you want me to call my boss and see? No, I want you to get up and leave the house. But I, I was told to come here. They let me in. Yeah. But you can just get up and leave because we don't want you here anymore. But I just I was sent here to fix this, and then I'm not even going to okay. get paid. It, 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 like literally, this, this is the hardest part. It will just yeah. take. I Five don't want you to mess around back. with the laptop. I right. didn't set up an appointment. I didn't give you guys my address. So get right. up and leave the house. Seriously. I, 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 I don't even know who he is. Leave the laptop do, do you alone. Do you understand my frustration? It's, well, do you understand my frustration? How creepy that is? So get out and yes, leave and, the and house. Yes, and I was just, I, like I said, it was on my list for two days. Well, I'm sorry if they messed up your list, but that's not my problem. And it, it, doesn't so seem, it doesn't seem like Rob to like just not yeah. send me to places. How that do you not understand know? that I don't want you in my house? And I didn't set up an appointment, so get your jacket and leave. I'm very sorry that there was a misunderstanding. Well, but can you please leave right now? Yeah, no, give me my laptop. What do you? What are you doing? I want to fix this for you. Give me my laptop. Yeah. You're, 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 really, they sent him in the row. I'm so serious. You're, what? You're really not going to let me fix this. What are you doing with my laptop, though? 
I, I want to fix the wire in here so it doesn't break on but you. But why are you taking my laptop back? Because I want to fix it. Yeah. Do you okay. understand that that's but, my laptop? Okay. Yes, but I want to fix it Fine. for you. Are they on the way? Yeah. You need to give me my laptop. But I want to fix this, and if but I don't, I don't understand why when you want me to fix it. How are you taking my laptop? It's gonna help. Anyone. I'm not saying I'm gonna fix it. Well, then give me. You're your not letting me fix it in there. Can, can you please? let me fix it right here no. for ten? It would have been fixed can already. Can you please give me my laptop? If it then it's gonna break, can and then what? Can you please hand my laptop to me? But I don't, I don't understand why you even want me to fix it right there. <laughs> I really don't understand what you're doing right now. I want to fix this. I'm serious. Give me my I don't fucking like, laptop. I don't like when people don't take care of their stuff. Well, go have talk to your boss, cause that's not my problem at all. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, no, I'm so serious. Where where are you going? Where right? are you going? To leave. Why the fuck did you just break my laptop? Just the garage room Okay. Seriously? Like I was not expecting him to break it that way. But it's very clever. Yeah. Very nice. She way. was not happy. I always wanted to break a laptop like that. Yeah. And yeah, it, it felt great. Did it? No. It's good. No problem at all. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, at all. Are you fucking kidding me? We need to put cameras outside. No, we really do. We, we needed time. like 15 cameras to cover everything that happened That's true. in this prank. We just had no idea. We would need cameras in cars. So Jared and I are on opposite sides of the driveway, and he's looking at me like, do something, because she was on the phone with the police. So Charlie's like, you know, Jasmine, give me the phone. Just give me the phone. And Jasmine's like, no, no, no. So I'm standing there, and I look at Jared, and with our amazing Jared and Kristen telepathy we have, I told him, I don't, I wish you could see what I did because it was actually kind of funny. I told him, see if you can figure this out. <laughs> Which meant you take off running. That way Charlie will grab Jasmine's phone because she will get in a car and chase you. And that's exactly what happened. It actually worked. <laughs> so, not no, like props because I'm like, okay. So, but... Jasmine takes Charlie's car and starts chasing me down the road in Charlie's car. So then Charlie grabs the phone and goes back into the house to talk to the police, which you hear. Yeah, and we didn't know she was going to call the cops, so that's why I was trying to get her phone for you. This is her roommate. And I'm like half a block away, and Jasmine's kind of creeping up on me in the driveway. And you know how they teach you in school, if somebody's following you, you go the opposite way. So that's what I did. Start running this way, and I take like six steps, and I turn... And she already turned the car around and was chasing me. <laughs> it was like, it was scary. She was like, she almost ran me over. I jumped over a bush and she comes flying up the driveway and she's blaring the horns running around me over. So I run back into the house. Uh-oh. That was my roommate, Jasmine. Charlie. Shh. Oh my God. Is she trying to kill you? Yeah. Well, I'm not going to smash she's, anymore. Uh, outside. But we're going to sit with you. Charlie, Charlie, get room with you. You're gonna help me um, though. What the fuck are you doing? Get out of my house right now. Get the fuck out of my Can I house. Explain something to no, you? you need to get out of my house right now. Seriously, get out of my house. Lock the door. Seriously, lock the door right now. Get her back in here. Get her back in here because all the cameras are here. She locks the door. And they're standing outside, and I'm like, okay, like, I'm gonna unlock the door, and, like, hopefully Jared will, like, know that I would unlock the door for him. So I slowly creep up to the door, like, they're outside, and of course, the one second they stop talking is when you just hear, click. <laughs> <laughs> and I heard that, I knew it was Kristen, and there, we, there was no, there was nothing verbal that happened. Me and her just look at each other, and I grab the door <laughs> and try and go in, and I make it, like, two steps in the house, and she grabs my arm, like, she grabs my arm and just... Holes. Yeah, Jared had scratches all down his arm. Dude, what are you doing? Lock the fucking door, Chelsea! What's wrong with you? Chelsea! Dude, get out of my house right now! Let me run each way, Charlie. Dude, come and lock the door. I'm not getting Get Chelsea. Lock get Chelsea. The fucking door. Get Chelsea. Chelsea, and Charlie. Charlie. Charlie! I'm friends with that. This doesn't matter. I'm Get out. Can I explain something? No, absolutely Jasmine. not. It's a joke. Dude, you just freaking broke my laptop. That's not your laptop. Jasmine, it's a fake laptop. It was a prank. It's a fake. I have a prank show. My I swear, go grab her laptop. Is it on the couch? I swear, it's not your laptop. It wasn't your laptop. Promise on my life that was not your laptop. It was a prank. Seriously? It was a prank. I swear to God. I swear. Jared, where's the laptop? It's right It's right under the couch, I promise. Which side? 
She's pissed. Oh, here. She's pissed. She's leaving. She's pissed. Jasmine! You can't take my car and I'm Oh, she's parking it. Why? They have to send him out when you call 911. Yeah. Should we just have his leave? Huh? And let us deal with it? Yeah, that's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> no, Charlie explained them to or explained everything to them, oh, so, so it should be fine. Cops anyway? Yeah, they just have it's protocol. How is that freaking hilarious, Jeff? I need to go park my car in the garage though. <laughs> How is that even a funny joke at all? Guys, the cops are seriously coming, though. No, I'll talk to them. This is yeah, they said they have to talk to them. No, that's fine. I have no problem talking to them. Like I said, this was a joke. This is yeah. a show. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hold on. I got to go outside. I got to move my car. Okay. It was a joke. Your laptop's fine. I don't know how any of you guys thought that was funny at all. I thought it was funny. I, don't I, don't know. I just want to explain myself. I don't even know if that helps, but... Um, my name is Jared. It's my cousin Chris, and we've been doing pranks on YouTube for about six years. Mm -hmm. We have a show called Friday Night Pranks, which is mostly uh, prank calls and how we're doing in cameras. Mm -hmm. And I've been friends with Charlie for about five years. And uh, we were just what she said, you know, I want to meet you guys. We should prank somebody. And I said, well, you know, who should we prank anybody? You know, you're such a bitch. And I don't know. Me. She's awesome. So what I literally, Chelsea said, here's a model for a laptop. Like that one that's over there. Has none of yours on? I literally didn't even touch your laptop. Yeah, I put your laptop under there. See, see, I mean, if it if it happened to Charlie, see, it's funny as hell. If it happened to Charlie, right? It is funny. Well, but it's no. not. <laughs> it's not. No, but, but you I see, can't let you call the cops. What do you think? I'm doing? <laughs> she was ready to kick my ass. I'm like, I know Charlie. I don't think I'm about to do right now. So okay, so there's a camera here. There's cameras. There's my Oh my god. Right. All right. So. Dude, you guys are freaking scared me. I'm like, what should I do? I'm an asshole. Oh my <laughs> god, you scared me so bad. I'm like, oh my god, how did this work? No, it's not even that time. I love you. We were sitting in the oh garage and um. I'm sorry. Okay. I, I'm That's it. I'm <laughs> that was freaking. I love you. When you watch it, when you watch it, I'm just gonna be you. Your face when I need your laptop. I'm like, oh my god. I'm Do you, so have you been wondering why I've been up your ass about your like schedule this week? Is that the couch? Oh, the couch, yeah. Oh, did you did you tell Lainey? She said she sent him out anyway. <laughs> See, I was like, why the heck are you trying to talk and talk? No, I got it. I need my phone. Up next on Friday Night Cranks Disconnected, find out what happens when the cops show up. I was so scared. I knew you were. I know. Oh my god. We all went outside. They asked for our IDs. So they were going to do background checks. So we're all standing there. We're all talking. We're telling. There are two cops. The one cop's talking to us. We're telling him about our show and whatever. So he's like, all right, all right. So he thought it was funny. He thought our show was a good idea. Well, God only knows what they thought of the 911 call because they show up in a truck and in the car and they block the they driveway. They block the driveway in. And <laughs> <laughs> so we go out. And um, we're standing there, and the guy, the other cop, goes to the other cop in the car. So he's running IDs, and he comes out, and he goes, Joseph? And we look over, and Jared's like, I'm Jared Joseph. And he's like, oh, okay. And he goes, I need you to come here. Oh, my God. People ask if we get pranked all the time, and... That was the best one yet. Yes, it's very hard to prank us, but like, shit. I was so scared. Cause like, 
one thing if he was like, oh, it was more down South Carolina, because you punch an old woman, I'd be like, well, that makes sense. <laughs> I don't punch an old woman, but I live in South Carolina. So North Carolina, we've only been a handful of times. Yeah. And mostly that's just running through airports. So, um, so yeah, that was, that was pretty scary. And, uh, but a good thing was, was that we actually got to talk to them and figure out, like, and ask them questions about our show and, like, you know, now they're fans. So, hello, cops. Hello, cops. You, <laughs> you guys get to say you're one of the few people on this earth who have pranked me and Kristen at the same time. At the same... Well, I might add. Right! If they, I wasn't even going to question them. Mm-hmm. If they put me in the car and took me away... Uh, well, then I probably would start questioning them. Because they have to tell you why they're arresting you. Yeah, true. <laughs> my heart just went <laughs> off! I'm like, my I'm dead! You motherfucker, what the fuck is going on? Her face was the most amazing thing ever. She's like... <gasps> Um, you know, I have a worn out in North Carolina. I'm like, when the fuck did I drop in North Carolina? You're like, really? Wow. I don't even want to look at this laptop anymore, those pieces. And he was like, holy shit. What do you say when you asked? Oh, he said, I'll tell you in a minute. I'm like, and then he's like, like <laughs> my heart like, dropped. I'm like, oh god. I, know. I need to sit. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I need to sit. They tell me the guy from the HPs and they're fixing my laptop. So I kind of forget a little bit. I'm like, no, no, whatever. You're just kidding. And then they're like, no, seriously. So I come in here and I see you sitting on the couch messing around with my laptop and I freak out because I never gave you my address or anything like that. And then <laughs> you wouldn't give me my, my laptop. And then, I don't know. Just I, I literally just, I wanted to kill you. But uh, how did you feel when I need and broke your laptop? Oh my gosh, I thought it was my real laptop, so I seriously freaked out. When he started to walk away, I was wondering what he was doing with my laptop. Like, I thought it was something creepy, like, set up my webcam so you guys can spy on us or something weird. And so I thought he was just going to try to, like, get away. So I get in Charlie's car and start following him, <laughs> considering running you down. Um, Charlie, what did you think? Oh, I was just laughing. <laughs> um, I was trying to pretend like I was freaked out a little bit. And uh, I was trying to freak her out even more. Um, but the cops being called kind of freaked me out in real life. <laughs> Not just during the prank, it just kind of freaked me out. I was like, oh god, now we have to handle cops. But it all worked out pretty well. What did you guys think of Jeremy's makeup? Oh my oh gosh, my gosh. <laughs> that was hilarious. I seriously was like, oh my gosh, what is going on? I just saw like, your face and that was hilarious. <laughs> she looked like she was going to die. She's like, <gasps> I almost about cried, but... <laughs> that was really good. That was just funny that, like, nobody helped at all. Everyone yeah. just kind of watched it happen, which was, it sucked for me, but I'm sure it sucked for guys as yeah. well. Um, so that was fun. Yeah, so shout out to all you guys. Um, if you have a request, you can send your idea into pranks.fridaynightcranks.com. Mm-hmm. Remember yeah, that. that one. Um, so fill out the form and give us, like, a brief, um, brief summary of, mm-hmm. of your idea. And if we like it. Well, we'll get back to you, and we'll hopefully do something. Definitely will. Yeah. So, big, 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 big shout out to Charlie. Yes. We love you. Love. And uh, we'll see you next time. Yes. Thank you, guys. Catch me. Next time on Friday Night Cranks Disconnected, before we leave Arizona, Kristen goes on a blind date as Candy. There's a lot to know, but... Pretty chill, too. What? I brought this. This is my bed. You're scared. What? You're scared. I'm not scary, but I thought that like, this could be like our theme. Like our love theme. What are you saying? And like, it'll like grow be a real beast. So like, say if like, I were to do it with this, right? The baby's in the pool, would you go and save it? It's drowning. I would. So go save it, it's drowning. Not a chance. Drew, the baby's not gonna live, Drew. The baby, don't tell me to calm down, Drew, it's drowning.